Hey guys, what's up? Felix here from Bamify. Welcome to my free online course here on YouTube, Learn Premiere Pro from A to Z. Please make sure to follow the course from the beginning, from chapter one, so you can get the most value out of it and follow this course step by step. So, now the project is saved in the Adobe folder. Now we can see how it works. For starters, let's have a look at the fields real quick. Here to the left we have the Suez window, where you can also find the Lumetri colors for color grading, the effect controls and the audio mixer. This here is the main window, where we can find the different editing modes. You can also go into the editing mode. Then the windows arrange differently. You have to try out which arrangement suits your editing flow the best. There's also the effects mode. In learning mode, you will find a few small Adobe features that show you how to implement various simple steps in Adobe Premiere. The audio mode is great if you have to cut a lot in the audio area. The graphics mode is good for playing around with titles and to use titles from Adobe. The library is good for the use of stock footage from Adobe. But for now, this is not important for us. To me, the color mode is the most transparent and most beautiful mode. In my opinion, here is everything you need for the cut, the editing flow. Here to the right side, this is the color grading window. As soon as we have imported files, you will understand it better. Below we have the timeline, our main window for all the editing. It is always good to see this, so you can tell whether the clips are overdriving. To the left, this is our project window where we now start importing our media. For this, double click on it. So here you can find our project structure. So we are choosing the right folders, so we don't have to import your project itself and you don't have to import the script and the final folder. So let's import the video, the audio, the graphics and the video assets folder. The material I've put together for you is already a little pre-organized. So the files are not that large. So now let's get back to the project window. Now we can see our imported folders. Here you can see the footage folder. So below we will see the clips with which we now cut our little Vamify commercial. An important thing here, we have the different modes. You can make a list view here. Some people like to work with list mode. It's not wrong, just a preference. You are able to see a few details here. If we open it up completely, we see the video info, size, bit rates and the frame rate. So I prefer the icon view mode instead of the list mode, because I enjoy the feature of the preview. Now again to the list mode. In Europe we mainly record at 25 frames per second. In the American market that is 24 frames or 23.976 frames. We are changing that now for the tutorial to work internationally. We now select all clips and go to the modify mode. Choose interpret footage. Assume this frame rate and bring everything to the same frame rate. 23.976. Hit OK and now the frame rate has changed for all files. Let's do the same procedure with the drone footage. It's only one file in this case. We have to go back to the list mode and adjust the frame rate to 23.976. Now back in the overview mode and so we have now adjusted the entire footage to the same frame rate. Another important function is the sorting mode. Below you can for example sort by name. This will bring our footage into the correct order. Because it often happens that the clips are displayed mixed up while they are imported. At the beginning and arrange your clips. Most of the time name works best. Now let's go again into the list mode. Here you could also rename the clips. For someone it's good for the selecting process. 
Let's get back to this later on. So now let's create our first sequence. So make a right click on the project window, select create a new bin and save the sequence here. We will call it sequence 1. So it's always good to have a good arrangement. You can also click this icon here to create a bin. Sequence is selected. Go on top to the file, click on new and go to sequence. In our case this would already be the right frame rate. You can see it here. Now let's go to the settings and here I prefer to customize directly. If you already know what your settings should look like, use this and customize your sequence. So the sequence settings should be the same settings like in your exported final file. So here are my extra tips. You can also use some existing presets. You can choose from different variations. And one feature I highly recommend is to save your customized preset. This is a really cool feature. So you can use your customized preset for your next editing. So now let's bring our footage into the timeline. There's so much variations how you can do that. So for someone it's the best way to drag and drop all your footage into the timeline. And then you can cut and select it step by step in the timeline. And of course you can also drag and drop a clip by clip. The other way is to double click on one file. So you can see the preview in the source window. From here on you have different options to bring your shot into the timeline. So now you can look through the footage. Let's say I start this cut right in the middle. Set an in point and an out point. You can also set an in and out point with a right click here. Either I go over this tool here and say insert into the timeline. Or create an in and out point like this one here and drag and drop the clip into the timeline. The next option is just to pull in only the audio. It is a very helpful option. Or just to pull only the video. Sometimes for a quick cut that is very helpful. So another quick tip. There's the option to display it either in full resolution or half resolution or quarter and so on. In order not to overpower my computer, I tend to use always the half resolution. So, so much for the import. In the next chapter I will discuss the timeline in detail.